In this video, we'll go through an example where we can use the binomial distribution developed in the previous video to evaluate the probabilities of certain events happening. So we consider a fair six-sided die, and we want to know the probability of getting three sixes after doing after performing five rolls of the die, after rolling the die five times. So since we're assuming that we have a fair die, the probability of any one side coming up is uh, equally probable. So we say the probability of getting a six has to be one over six or one over the number of sides, and this is for a fair die. So there's no preference to the die landing in any one face. This means that the probability of not getting a six has to be one minus P or five over six. then the probability so here our random variable is the number of sixes that we get out of five rolls and the probability that our random variable is equal to three is equal to the number of trials which in this case is five the value of our random variable that we're interested in p we said it was one over six. And we're assuming that it occurred. Uh, so the probability of getting uh, as six on our die is one over six, or number one over the number of sides of our die. We're assuming it happened three times. So we raised that to the power of three. And that means that we didn't get a six in a roll uh, five minus three times or twice. So we raise the probability of not getting a six to the power of two. This one is one over six cubed and five over six square. We're writing this out. We get that the probability of getting six sixes out of five rolls is given by this. And if you evaluate this expression, you get 0 0.0032, which is equivalent to 3.2% of the time. So if you were to do this experiment, rolling a six out of die five times, three out of those hundred times, you would expect to get three sixes in those five rows. In the next video, we'll generalize this idea of the binomial distribution to the case where the probability of what you may call a success or the probability of getting the outcome you want uh, becomes very, very small, but the number of trials becomes very, very large. And this will introduce what's known as the Poisson distribution.